I thought, here's a familiar shape. I know what this is. It's a parcel. It's a parcel for Manchester Council. And it's baby Jesus. The one uh, thing which could potentially be worse than um, a human life for 90 years where you suffer, you fall in love, uh, you have heartbreak and loss and grief and people die and you see suffering and it breaks your heart and it can be overwhelming at times. The one thing worse than that is maybe um, being the only person in the entire universe and you exist forever. You have no idea why you exist and you cannot die. It's a, a never, never ending, infinite, conceptually infinite um, existence in all directions, which might sound great. Hooray, you're God. But uh, when you actually sit down and meditate and ponder on that just for five minutes, you'll see why all of humanity exists instead. Okay, we're here at a statue of a man called Cobden. There he is, pointing his finger in silhouette. Now, never really thought of this statue apart from the pigeons that sit on it that Isaac likes to chase, but in inverted back to front, there's a certificate of authenticity here. Having this piece of paper affixed guarantees the 100% genuine nature of this colonial statue. I think someone's trying to be a protesty type thing. Think twice, it's just another day for you and me in paradise. Just a couple of nice uh, victories. First one is like, you know, clean up Manchester city center or the Doomer videos will continue and no one will ever go to Manchester city centre again. And the second one is to the government in the UK. Rein in a bit with your control freakery or you'll have a civil war. Simple as that. So, feels good. Good morning, everybody. It's the 3rd of December. Lockdown is now lockdown light. Tier three. Now, what has been impressing me in the in the media, what's been impressing me massively in a bad kind of way is the uh, I just got a, a, a beep and a wave from the lorry driver. What's been impressing me is the homogenous vaccine utopianism that is coming through. Now, apologies for my voice. The vocal cords are a bit inflamed again, thus proving my exemption to the face nappy. But basically, as, a, as an idealist, as a philosophical idealist, and a bit of a mainstream idealist, I just think the as Boris Johnson described it, the bugle of the cavalry coming over the hill to uh, save us all. That hope, that great belief in the promised land. It's like the vaccine is Zion and we are the lost tribes and we got to go home. As I say, it's a, a massive vaccine utopianism and utopianism for those of us who are into dystopian fiction or, or just realistic or pessimistic. 
utopianism always bites back and hurts you really badly. Now, ah oh shit, what film was it? Was it World War Z? Was it I Am Legend? Where it starts with a TV show. There's Emma Thompson plays a vaccinologist, immunologist, epidemiologist, geneticist, biologist, scientist. And she's like, yeah, we tweaked the DNA in the vaccine so that it instructs the cells to fight cancer. And then obviously three years later, 99.9% .9 of humanity turns into zombies who want to eat brains. Now, of course that's fiction, but come on now, from a mainstream point of view, putting your hope in one big thing, all your eggs, all your hope eggs, all your spirit eggs, all your science eggs, all your justification for destroying the economy lockdown eggs into the vaccine utopia basket. I don't know, man. My parents are sitting this one out. Everyone I know is sitting this one out. And if I were to be Mr. Randy Pan, the government scientific advisor man, I would be telling the government, actually no, it doesn't matter now, does it? Because uh, Pfizer, GlaxoSmithKline, the Russians, the Chinese, anyone that's making a vaccine with again, very utopian success rates, 94% effective, 95% effective. Oh my God, I am orgasming at the utopia of it all. All these big companies to make sure that it's pure profit. The government has ring fenced them, protected them against any litigation. Now what litigation means? It means suing them. So let's say you take the vaccine, it instructs your, your RNA, your DNA to produce antibodies, but then three years down the line, your testicles start creating massive tumors and massive cancers. Turns out you're not allowed to sue. Sorry. That's all I have to say about that one. Unsuable, super fast, a lot of profits to be made, and every Tom, Dick and Harry raising their arms up in the air saying, free at last, free at last. Oh Lord Almighty, we are at Zion at last. Bloody hell, I've had enough of these people. Let's get going. Morning, everyone. It's the 1st of December, final month of 2020. What does it hold for us? We're here in Buell Hill Park in Salford and it's a frosty morning very crisp you know for all the good weather you get in say Brazil or the southern states you don't get a nice crisp uh, frosty winter morning like this do you so the centerpiece of Buell Hill Park is the Buell Hill mansion it was built in 1825 and it's been abandoned for the last 20 years. And blows me away. This is truly a fantastic design for 1825. There's elements of modernity. And of course, the harking back to ancient Greece with the Doric columns here. But, you know, since I moved to Salford just under nine years ago, I was like, wow, this epic place, surely within a year, Within a month, someone's going to buy this and develop it because it is amazing set in these beautiful grounds here. And feel, hear how quiet it is. We're away from the main road. <laughs> and someone's uh, crossed out the G, so it says, keep out. Dangerous building. Okay, we're zoomed in. Piccadilly Gardens, as the weather box says. So, quiet. Quiet outside McDonald's. Quiet in Spice Gardens. Quiet everywhere. Never doubt that one person with enough energy highlighting one issue can actually make a difference. For coming out to the city centre, or any city centre in the UK, I recommend leather padded gloves, motorbike gloves get a snug fit, get something that can still operate the electronics and uh, yeah, it turns out the forces involved in falling off a bike and protecting your knuckles are similar to defending yourself 
out in a urban jungle. Now, from what I know, never been a fan of punching, but you need to punch with the first two knuckles. Don't punch with the pinky and that one. Punch with lead that way. That's what I understand. 